podcast and today we are going to look at top 10 best movies of 2012 these are my personal favorites and you maybe have heard about about them or you haven't that is not up to me to decide if you like it or not but this is my list from 10 10 we start with 10 and end with the number one and I just skip everything else and you start it. Number 10 Iron Sky. An amazing movie, actually. Really great, greatly made. I, it's about space Nazis. It was just a fun movie to watch and it was entertaining, great effects. That's number 10. Number 9. Dark Shadows. Uh, many doesn't think this is a good movie, but I liked it a lot because Johnny Depp are a great actor and he made this movie stand out even more. And that made me put it on the list. It is a horror comedy. Uh, based on a soap opera of the same name, so yeah. Number eight, I think it's yes. Prometheus. Uh, this is called prequel to the Alien franchise. A really good movie. Great sci-fi action. Not as much horror as I thought it was will be, but otherwise it was a really great movie. You should watch it. One of the greatest of 2012. Number 7. Snow White and the Huntsman. And yes. This this isn't because... Well, it is because it, it is a fantasy movie. I, and I love fantasy movies. And this one are really great. A really well made one. Even though it was some cheesy moments some here and there, but that was in the b movies before as well, so yeah. So what a new huntsman of dark fantasy. Yeah. Number six I think it is wait, wait, wait. Yes. Underworld Awakening. One of my favorite franchises. Uh, this is the fourth one in the franchise, I think it is, yes it is, and it is a continuation, a sequel to the second movie, and I loved it, even though it isn't as long as the other ones, and it doesn't follow the same path or have the same elements, it is more of an action fantasy movie, and it is just great. Switch and oh, I forgot which number I'm on. Uh, number five, The Cabin in the Woods. This was a surprise movie for me. I didn't in the beginning think it would be as good as it was, but uh, and I am not a big horror fan, but this one was great. It is a horror comedy that maybe maybe made me like it a lot. I like hor comedy horrors, some of them, yeah. And this one was really great, uh, directed by Joss Sweden, I think it was, or was it it? Wait. Producer. It was the producer. Anyhow, yeah. The Cabin in the Woods. Number four. This one I we are looking forward in a long time to see. And... It is The Hunger Games. Many call it the ripoff of Battle Royale, Royale, but I think it is nonsense. Every movie are a ripoff of anything or every, everything. Or anything, I don't know. This one was really great. Made me. It wasn't. It didn't follow the book as much as I hoped. It followed it a lot, anyway. Not as as much as I wanted, but it did follow it really well, and 
It's just a great movie. Watch it. Hello again, it did cut there because of the low battery, but let's just continue. I'm not going to make a fantastic big deal about it, but number four was The Hunger Games. Number three, and the second and third one was the hardest ones to decide on, but number three, The Avengers, a really great hero, superhero movie. Uh, the first one, I think, they combined many great heroes in one movie, uh, as that you didn't know about. Uh, there have been many others, but not as this one. This was a great movie. Direct this time, it was directed by Joss Whedon, and I loved it. It was a really great movie. Superhero action. Great face. Um. I like superhero movies, as you can see, there is all the superhero. Uh, so this one was really great. And the second one, you may can guess. The Dark Knight Rises. A really great and lovable movie. One of the best I've seen in my life. Uh, it was a really big surprise how well done and great it was because this one, this Dark, uh, Batman movies are really dark, the Christopher Nolan trilogy, but this one wasn't as dark as I thought it would have been, but it is dark in many ways, but this one are great, anyhow, he made, he made it really well, and it, it is a great way to end a trilogy. That was the second one. And the first one, this one was seen not a long, a long time ago, but it is, uh, sorry. Number one are going to be The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. Oh my god, it was a great movie. Uh, I watched it actually yesterday when this is filmed. Oh, this is itchy. Uh, it was a really great movie. Uh, I love the Lord of the Rings movies and... Going back to the Middle Earth and everything that just made me just gasp at the nerd, nerd a lot. Uh, it was a really great movie and it really deserves the first place on this list. And it was all for the day. That was the, my top 10 of 2012. My favorite movies or best movies I think it was. And hope you liked it a lot. Liked any of the movies if you didn't like any of them uh, well i don't know for the next time bye